Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to go in with a little kick set of nails today. Here I am showing you everything that I'll be using. And yeah, I'm using glitter today. So yeah, sugaring some nails and I'm going to do some foils and some designs. I'm going to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So I did have to go back in with the stand that I told you guys I didn't like. Well, come to, come to think of it, I like it now. <laughs> and like it's very convenient. Especially when you're doing glitter and, and um, it's just better. You can actually pick it up and hold it in your hand. So yeah, I'm going in now with my pink because my favorite color is pink. So I'm going in with pink. I'm doing one layer of this. This pink is real pretty, like Pep Toe Bismol. So it's pretty. So I'm doing three nails in pink. You know what I do? I go ahead and go to a nail that's like it's full of gel and I just add it to the next nail see it's already giving me a hard time you see how the stand is moving but it's okay i still like you stand because you know i can use you <laughs> okay so now i'm going to put this in the lamp i made a mistake there so i had to go ahead and correct it So I'll put this in, well, I'm going to let that level out, and then I'm putting it in the lamp. While I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put a top coat on the nails because I want them to be a little transparent. Um, so I don't want to put a color on the bottom. So these are the two nails that I'm going to add glitter to. I'm using this pink neon type color, which is so pretty. I like it. It's called Cherry from the um, brand Wow, American Crafts. All right, so now I'm going in and just doing a, a coat, covering it with that. I'm making it real light. Well, it's going to be light regardless, no matter how much polish you put. I mean, how much glitter you put on, it's still going to be light because you have a clear coat. I'm doing the next one. And while I'm doing this, my um UV light has stopped, so when I get done, Applying this glitter, I could just continue to do a transition right on to the next stand, which I'm happy. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of how to actually work and now stop and pause the video and come back. This is perfect. Now put that away. Oh, got the glitter on my hand. I'm gonna try to dust my hand off a little bit. Mm -mm. Go ahead and finish off this set. All right, so the two bottom nails are going to be foiled. And the one singular pink nail up top will have a design on it. So now I'm going in applying my foil glue, nail foil glue. And you know, making sure that it's applied all over the nail. You do not want to miss a spot. So I'm going in and making sure it is everywhere. You see me taking my time and make sure that I cover every single spot. I, I, do, I do that. It's important too. So make sure you cover all the nail sides, bottom, top, everywhere. If you want to do a good full. And sometimes when you do that, the full still doesn't do what you think that it should do. All right, so now I'm going in and applying the, um, the nail dart. I'm using my rhinestone glue. And I'm putting a butterfly here, which is so pretty. Like I said, this set is for um, a young girl. So I'm just giving her some little cute little decor. And I'm going to add those little pink stones all over the nail. Well, not all over the nail. I'm doing not a swirl, but kind of sort of like a swirl. Check out my nails today, guys. The awesomeness of press on nails. I actually use glue tabs this time and not actual glue to apply these. The only reason I took the yellow ones off because I had a client this morning and I literally love I, I literally wanted to be able to not use nails to do her hair. <laughs> so I took them off. So I've applied these with the nail um, tabs. Okay, so this is the perfect um use for this stand when you can actually pick it up and see better instead of me having to go all the way down to it so that's what i'm doing here i love this little butterfly 
I don't think I ever would have used it if I didn't have to do this little set. I, I, I always look over it. I see them all the time, but just, just something standing off the nail. I don't see how, you know, people can actually use those. But hey, everybody have their way. Yep. Made up with it. Let it just stick. So now I'm going on and placing the foil and I'm rubbing in the middle first to make sure I flatten out the sides better. And it's to make sure the design is actually where you want it to be. You always start in the middle and then you um, spread it out on the sides and then, you know, do the bottom and all of that. So I'm going in on rubbing, not vigorously, but just rubbing enough to apply the foil to the nail. Okay, so that's some stuff sticking, so I have to continue to rub. It's common, it's common, it's common. Little pieces are coming up with the paper, so still having to rub to apply a little bit more pressure to make sure it stays. A little bit more here. It doesn't want to stick well there. And I know I put glue there. So that's why I was saying sometimes it's still at plenty even when you cover the entire nail. Okay. Same. Apply in the middle first and then go in to the sides, the bottom, and everywhere else of the nail. And you just rub, 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 rub. Okay, I'm making sure, so I'm going to rub. I have to start at the top because the bottom, I don't, <laughs> I don't have anything to grab at the bottom, so I have to stop at the little, little piece at the, at the top that's hanging off the nail. I start there first, and you see that the bottom of the star is not a stain. Well, it's not a star, it's a flower. The bottom of the flower is not allowing me to stick it on the nail, so I'm going to leave it as it is because no matter what I'm doing, it's not sticking. And now I'm going to pull the rest of the, there you go, there it goes. And that's pretty. Off camera, I'm going to go in and add a little heart right there where the black dot is on the flower up the top. So I'm doing that off camera. So now I'm just adding the top coat. Look how pretty it makes it look. It makes it look so awesome. And I'm going to put this in the UV lamp as soon as I finish this set, these two. And I'm going on to this one. And I'm going to apply the top coat on this as well. The top coat makes everything look better. Look at that flower. I mean, that um, butterfly is so pretty. So I'm making sure I get all around the stones in the butterfly, underneath it, everywhere. All right, so I'm actually, I have never put a top coat on uh, uh, my sugar nails or my glitter nails before. I'm actually going to go in. I have to put that in UV lamp first because I re remember that I never cured the um, gel. I mean, not the gel, the rhinestone glue. So I had to go cure it and I had to go cure the um, glitter nails too. So before I put the top coat on, I had to go cure it. All right, so now I'm going ahead and I'm adding... Another top coat, because I'm showing you guys that it had bubbles in it for some reason. Like, it was not sticking to it well. So, now I'm going in with a brush and brushing off the SS, um, the SS um, glitter. And so, I can apply the gel and it won't be a lot on the brush. So, right now, I'm taking some and I'm applying it on the nail without touching it. Just making it drop off of it. And I'm going in because I don't want to put the glue. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't want to put the gel the top back in my top coat so I'm going to actually wipe the brush off before I apply it back in because I, I would hate to transfer that into my top coat and every time I put a top coat on there's glitter in it yeah that, would, that won't be good for me and I'm finishing up this I want to thank you guys again for tuning in and sharing 
this moment with me as I make this set. And I'm showing you here where the glitter is and I have to go clean it off. And that is so pretty. Look at that. I'm not a fan of the way the glitter looks with a top coat. But thank you guys. Next time. See you next time.